Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. And today I wanted to show you how to install shaders and Optifine in Minecraft 1.8.9. So first up, you're going to need Minecraft installed. And you're going to need the latest version of Java. I will leave the links in the description. Let's go ahead and open up Minecraft. And we'll hit play here. Now this is the easiest way to get to your Minecraft folder to install your shaders and mods. We'll just open it up. Go to Options, Resource Packs, Open Resource Pack Folder. I will open it here. Go to your App Data, Roaming, and create a shortcut for the Minecraft folder. And I take the shortcut and I paste it on my desktop. So now I have access to all this. Instead of going to your search bar and searching app data roaming Minecraft, this is the easiest way I found to get it. All right, next up, you're going to need Optifine. We're going to go ahead and close that out. You're going to need Optifine. And you're going to need a shader pack. So I am going, I am using Optifine here. This will be in the description. Go to downloads and I am running Minecraft 1.8.9. So I'm going to download the latest one. I go ahead and click on mirror. And we'll download that. Next up, you're going to need a shader mod. Now there's tons of them on the internet, but this is my favorite one. This is Sonic Ethers Ultra Shaders. And now this is the Ultra Depth of Field. You can find different ones with motion blur and all kinds of stuff. But I like the Depth of Field look. Go ahead and download this. Now that they're downloaded, I have placed them in a folder on my desktop named Minecraft Mods. All right, so let's install Optifine. This is the Optifine I just downloaded. Now it looks like a zip file here. If you right click, open with Java. Now this will install Optifine. It takes a quick second. Optifine is installed. Next up, we're gonna need to extract Sonic Ether shaders here. Now we have the folder. Now that folder we just made, the Minecraft shortcut, we're going to want to have to go into that, go to shader packs. Now we're going to just drag this over. Now that's all you have to do. Now we're going to open up Minecraft again. Okay, so now you look down here at the profile. And it says Optifine now. There's my old one, and here's my Optifine. Now, in order for Optifine to run pretty well, you need to allocate more RAM to Minecraft. And it's very simple. All you have to do is click Edit Profile. Make sure, the J make sure this is checked. And you see XMX 1G. Now, that means 1 gig of RAM is used for Minecraft. Now, my machine has 12, so I'm going to go ahead and allocate... 4 gigabytes of RAM. Now, depending on how much RAM you have in your machine, really depends on how much you can put into Minecraft. So, let's say you have a 4 gigabytes Windows machine, 4 gigabytes of RAM. If you're not running anything much in the background, you can go ahead and put 2 gigabytes. It should run pretty well. But since I have 12 and a bunch of free RAM, I'm going to do 4 gig. Save profile, and now we're going to play. All right, so now we can go to Options, Video Settings, Shaders. And you can see I already have my shader that I installed. Um, it's chosen here. You, When you start yours, it'll probably be on off like this. So you want to go ahead and click on the shader. want to hit Done. Now with Optifine, there are a bunch of performance 
um, options that you can use under quality, performance, all that great stuff. So if you're running kind of uh, choppy, um, go ahead and mess with this when you hover over. It should tell you what it does and how it affects gameplay. So let's go to done, done. And I am going to turn my music down just a bit. All right, done. And let's go ahead and start this and see how it looks. And you don't have to create a new world. You can start a world that you already had without any shaders. All right, so now you can see Minecraft looks a lot different. And if you see my hand there, it's a little blurred out. That's the depth of field that I'm using. Um, there's a few different ones that you can use. Motion blur, depth of field. Um, I really like this one though. So it is just looking beautiful. So let's go ahead and let it load a few more chunks here. And let's go check this world out. As you can see, the lighting is way different here. Let's go towards the sun over here, see if we can find some water. I'll show you guys how this looks. I mean, it is beautiful. Got that lighting on the water. I mean, this is just... It makes it a totally different game. And I really love playing with these shaders enabled. Like I said, if you're suffering from bad performance, um, you just really need to mess with the settings. The other thing is, if your computer's pretty old, it's not gonna run it too well. I have a older i7, 12 gigabytes of RAM and an R9 um, 270 and it still struggles a little bit. So let's go and check this out. Now I'm gonna do a time lapse of night and day, just so you guys can see how it looks at night also. But this shader is beautiful. This is Sonic Ether's Ultra Shaders. This is the depth of field version, which this is the one I really love using. I mean, it just makes Minecraft a totally different game. So I'm going to go ahead and show you a few clips of night and day. We'll do some time lapse here and you can see how it looks. Thanks for watching and if this helped you at all, uh, hit that like button and subscribe. I got a lot more coming. And if you got any questions, leave it in the comments or just send me a message.